This is Anne-Marie Mohan, Senior Editor of Packaging World Magazine with Take 5. In 2015, the staff of Packaging World put together a cover story that profiled eight women in the packaging industry, in manufacturing roles in particular. The article was a huge success. However, we couldn't make it an annual feature since there were so few women in the industry we could tap to participate. But times are changing. Just recently, as we were putting together the May issue, we noticed a recurring theme. Nearly every article featured a woman in a leadership position. In what we call our first-person Q&A column, we spoke with Allison Lynn, Global VP of Packaging Sustainability at Marsink. Lynn began her career in packaging at Procter & Gamble, where she says she fell in love with the field of packaging sustainability. Following her time at P&G, Lynn worked in sustainability positions at Starbucks and Coca-Cola, after which she did a brief stint with plastics converter Westfall Technique. Currently, she leads Mars' global cross-segment strategy to improve the sustainability of its product packaging. Lynn shared with us that she's been extremely fortunate to have many mentors, as well as role models and male allies, along the way. For those young women interested in a career in packaging, Lynn advises finding a mentor and attending conferences to building a network. In another article, we hear from Anna Espinosa, Packaging Sustainability Manager at the Estee Lauder Companies. Espinosa detailed a multi-year partnership between Estee Lauder, co-packer and packaging supplier Zellipack, and Gentile Packaging Machinery to develop a recyclable paper-based sachet for Aveda hair care product samples. Zellipack is a woman-owned and operated company that's known for its Zellipack packaging structure, which is an alternative to plastic bottles and tubes that's made from paper, foil, and film. The challenge for the Aveda project was to eliminate the foil layer and certify the structure for recycling. In the article, Carolyn O'Connor, another woman in the industry, who is director of sales for Zellipack, shared details on the certification process. The paper-based recyclable sachet that resulted from the collaboration is a first for the prestige beauty market and offers the luxurious, high-quality experience Aveda is known for. Also sustainability-related, and also featuring a woman in a leadership position, is another story in May that discusses the packaging innovation being used by water filtration provider Brita. When Brita decided to launch a single-serve bottled water product at retail, it chose Bee Water and Beverages, a co-manufacturer and packager of water in aluminum bottles and cans, as the exclusive licensee. Through the leadership of Jennifer Brooks, Bee Water's president, Brita was able to realize its goal of packaging its products sustainably. Brooks worked with aluminum bottle supplier Trivium to develop an impact extruded aluminum bottle that can be reused by the consumer multiple times. Brooks also spearheaded a project with packaging supplier Atlantic Packaging to use a recyclable paperboard carrier for bottle multi-packs rather than using non-recyclable plastic ring carriers. In the article, Allison Scales, VP Printing and Graphics Division at Atlantic, shares details on the development of the plastic-free paperboard carrier known as the Fishbone C-Clip. And probably the most prominently featured woman in our May issue is Stephanie Hart, co-founder and co-CEO of Hart Print. She graces the cover of the issue, along with company co-founders J.P. Paradis and Alexander Anishin. After holding a number of positions at footwear and accessory company Aldo Group and becoming an investor and partner in a microbrewery, Stephanie Hart launched Hart Print with her partners in 2018 to provide digitally printed cans in small batches. Hart Print has grown rapidly since then. It currently operates a facility in Montreal that uses two Hinterkopf direct-to-shape digital can printing systems and it's opening a new plant in Chicago by year-end that will house three more printers. It also plans to open two more sites by the end of 2023. 
The biggest boost to the business was its acquisition in 2021 by Arda Metal Packaging. For those interested in learning more about women in packaging, visit the Packaging and Processing Women's Leadership Network website. The PMMI-led group serves to recruit, retain, and advance women's careers in packaging and processing through online and in-person events, information and sharing, and networking. That's all for this edition of Take 5.